it going? Uh, you know Shayna here from EspressoEnglish.net and me, Gabby, from GoNaturalEnglish.com and we're here together for a really special series to share with you guys. Just kind of relaxed conversation. Hi, Shayna. Hey, Gabby. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here because yeah. we're almost neighbors, right? We are almost neighbors now. Maybe you guys know we were traveling, living abroad, but now we're both living in the U.S. I'm in New York City. We're both in New York City right now. You're mm -hmm. nearby. Um, and yeah, we wanted to take advantage of this to get together. For sure. Yeah. We're going to do like a mini series of four videos where we're just going to talk with each other and you guys can listen and learn from our conversation. And I think this is important because a lot of English learners have trouble following native speakers' conversations. Yeah, and this is really the first time that we've done something like this just conversationally, but I think we think it's going to help you to just be, be like a fly on the wall, as you said, uh, listening to our conversations and we'll help you out to understand and be able to improve your, your conversational skills, your listening skills. Right, because you can see how we interact with each other, mm. maybe some of the phrases we use, also how to keep a conversation going, right? Avoid yeah. those awkward pauses that sometimes happen if you don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, we're going to do four videos mm -hmm. uh, each Friday from today, starting today, and then the next three Fridays. So it's going to be really great. You guys will get to know us a little more. We'll get to know each other a little more. Yep. Get to know you a little more as you leave your comments and uh, as you, you know, let us know what you think of this series. It'll be really great to interact. Sweet. Yeah. So, Gabby, I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Why do you think so many English learners struggle with conversations? Like, they might listen yeah. to teachers. And they under I get a lot of students who write to me and say, teacher, I understand you. But when I watch a movie or when I listen to some native speakers, I can't follow the conversation. Yeah, I think it's because if you think about where you learned English, you maybe learned in a classroom and that's different. Usually your teacher is alone, right? Or usually we teach alone with uh, Espresso English and Go Natural English. It's really special to be able to listen to a conversation between native speakers and get more um, input, teachers call it input, I'm not sure what else to call it, but listening to a lot of conversations. So um, it's difficult when you haven't practiced, so we need more practice. What no, do you think? I, I totally agree. I think that um, if you're not living in a native speaking country, or even if you are, if you are, but you just don't have a lot of opportunities to interact with native speakers or socialize, um, it's just, yeah, like anything, practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. And the more you listen and the more you practice, it will be difficult, but I think it's really satisfying when you reach a point in your English that you can listen to two native speakers and say, I got everything. Um, and I can participate, which is even more it's important, really right? really exciting. Yeah, it's a good confidence builder. So, um, Shayna, I know you've learned another language and we've both been language learners. How have you improved your conversational skills in your second language? Right, so my second language is Portuguese because yeah. I lived in Brazil for many years. And I, well, I studied a lot on my own using yeah. websites, um, using textbooks. But when I went to Brazil, I had to put it into practice. Mm -hmm. I was just forced, I was put in a situation where I had no other choice, right? Right. Um, I think English learners can do that if they join a conversation exchange or talk with a teacher on italki. Mm. Um, but from the beginning, from my first day in Brazil, I had to be saying, hello, how are you in Portuguese? Yeah. And I couldn't just be shy and not say anything. And so that really helped me um, just start to use it in everyday life. And uh, I do remember struggling a little bit with feeling like my Portuguese was very simple for a while. Mm. I could say the basic stuff, but I couldn't really express my thoughts. Yeah. And it did take a while and just more, like you said, more input, more yeah. practice. Sometimes I would say things that um, maybe weren't natural and mm -hmm. uh, whoever I was talking to would sometimes repeat it back to me in a way that a native speaker would say it. Oh, that's helpful. Um, or say, oh, did you mean uh, mm. this? And so that's why that interaction is super valuable. Yeah, yeah, just being able to listen to native speakers helps a lot 
Um, I also learned some Portuguese and um, yeah, it helps so much when you can listen to natives, whether you're in the country or not. It makes such a huge difference. But I study on my own, you know, you can look at different websites for learning language, but there's nothing like listening to a native conversation. So I feel like we could talk about this for a long time, yes, but I think it's could. time to wrap up this particular video, but we'll see you guys next Friday with another one, another conversation. Yeah, leave your comments if you have any questions for us and we'll see you guys next week. Yeah, and oh, just before we go, you can find Shana at EspressoEnglish.net and me at GoNaturalEnglish.com. Great. Right. Bye. Bye.